So the next chapter in Windows Phone 7 is Mango, bringing with it a bevy of new features. Now it may look like nothing has changed, but the live tiles, for example, are now more interactive and can display more information. The search button is pretty much everywhere now, so you can search for apps in your app list and in the marketplace, and the same goes for within the People Hub. Talking of which, in addition to unifying contacts with Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn integration has been chucked in for an aggregated notifications feed and quick access to more contact info. Now, Facebook isn't completely old hat, so events can be automatically added to your calendar, Facebook chat has been thrown in, and you can check in. On top of that, you can update your Windows Live chat status, cross post to all services, and interestingly, have threaded conversations over text, Facebook chat, and Windows Live Messenger. Grouping contacts is new for quick access to information without having to filter through all the rubbish. You can even pin the group to the start screen in addition to having your own live tile. The history feature for each contact is pretty nifty too. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to photos, if you want to post any snaps, it still has to be done from within the Pictures Hub, which is still a bit of a letdown. Web browsing is taken care of courtesy of Internet Explorer 9, which has been expanded and improved for Mango. So the address bar is now at the bottom for easier access and the menu is hidden, leaving only the refresh button in view. You can now share web pages via email, messaging or social networks as well, but if you pin a web page to your start screen, the image won't update, which is a bit annoying. Search is taken care of with Bing, but if Google is more your thing, maps and search can be downloaded. What we do like though is the Shazam style Bing music feature, as well as Bing Vision, a Google Goggle style visual text feature for translating and text editing. And lastly, Bing voice search, all of which are quick, simple and work very well. Now, local scout is hugely useful. It will pull up a list of places to eat, drink, shop and visit within your vicinity. Now, moving on, there's a new way to multitask by holding down the back key, which has taken a bit of a design cue from WebOS, which is great for zipping in between apps or tasks at high speed. But sadly, there's no option to kill them off. Now, in the camera department, face detection and tagging for Facebook and SkyDrive has been introduced. Then there's Autofix, which compensates for low light, pumping life into your poorly shot photographs. You can share video as well, although sadly not to YouTube, but you can go straight to the camera by holding down the shutter button even when the screen is locked, which will certainly prove useful. The Xbox Live Hub has been made over as well, bringing it more in line with what the Xbox 360 interface will look like later on in the year, bringing along a 3D avatar and greater control over achievements, profile and messaging. Now, in the realm of email and office, you'll get joint inboxes, but no default email account for sending. But there are threaded conversations and you can pin email folders to the start screen. You'll also be able to save and share office documents through Office 365 and Windows Live SkyDrive. So you can share or get access to your documents between devices when and where you want them. Its other features include the battery save mode and the message dictation option. We could go on, but we have tried to showcase the very best of what Mango has to offer. It's impressive, but is let down massively by its lack of applications. But the bonus is it's significantly different to Android and iOS. And best of all, it's a huge improvement from last year's efforts.